give some personal information about yourself. My name is Aaron Yamasato Esquire. No. <laughs> I'm a Hawaii filmmaker. I was born and raised in Hawaii. And I am a human being. <laughs> what inspired or motivated you to get into the movie industry? When I was a kid, I watched a lot of movies in the theaters. I watched a lot of TV programs. I watched a lot of cartoons. How did I get my job in the movie industry? I went up to LA, Los Angeles, California to go to film school. When I was there, I signed up to be a PA, which is a production assistant. A PA would probably be the starting point in the film industry. People ask the PA, please get the actor coffee. Here's some film, go drop off the film at a film processing place. What is your experience with special effects? Some special effects would be a uh, wire work. Say like jump, uh, a character jumping up in the air, the actor or actress, they're rigged up in all this uh, harnesses and things. And it looks cool because it looks like she's flying way up high. But in reality, there's a, uh, you know, the wire. What special effects method is your favorite and why? Gore effects. I love special effects, gore effects, like uh, monsters and the bloods and the guts and the zombies kind of thing. And I think that's fun. Where do I shoot my special effects scenes? Since what I do is samurai martial arts action. I basically shoot all my special effects on set. When you do on set special effects, everybody can see them. After the <laughs> effect, everybody awesome. laughs and everybody <laughs> cheers and they're like, oh, gross, ha ha ha. What special effects movies inspired you to do what you do today? That's an easy one. That would be Star Wars. I also watched a lot of Star Trek on television or as a kid of them, the movies. How many different shots did it take to create your iceberg? A lot. It's a lot of shots. Mm, I don't know. I never even bothered to count it, but it could be hundreds, thousands of shots. Where did you go to school? California Northridge University. What advice would you give to others who want to enter the filmmaking industry? I don't know if your parents would like this, but play a lot of video games, get inspired. Read a lot of comic books. Comic books are kind of like storyboards. Make sure you use a lot of imagination. Oh no. The Shaka Monster. Make and watch a lot of movies. Don't just watch the movies, but watch it for the shots that they use, the story that they tell, the cinematography. Listen to the music. That's another thing too. I love to hear when the music comes in and out and how they use different styles of music. Try to also figure out how they did the shots, how they made the shot. Where is the camera? Try to figure out what's green screen and which is a real explosion versus which is something that's CG, something fake. Oh. This is very, very important. Edit. Edit your own movies. Probably say, yeah, more than anything is do editing. Make sure you shoot your movies and you edit it. A lot of people think that filmmaking is fun and they see Hannah Montana or something and they think, oh, it's so glamorous, you know, filmmaking, but it's fake. It is not a glamorous job. It is blood, sweat, tears, and stress. A lot, a lot of hard work. It's physically hard. The heat and everything. Don't expect it to be glamorous. That's all, uh... I don't know, Hannah Montana. <laughs> I guess like anything in life, you know, you work really, really hard and in the end, uh, you get to see it and then that's celebration time. Yay, we did it. Uh, you feel good and you get the accolades, you know, that's the reward. And then the whole cycle begins again. How far do you think special effects technology will advance by the time I graduate from college? Special effects technology is growing by leaps and bounds. Special effects are gonna advance dramatically any final comments that you would like to share with me so make sure that you do well in school because that will really help you later on in life have fun have fun learning and um good luck okay.